guys, it's manager Kylie and in today's video I'm going to go through the rules of handball. So today I'm going to go through the rules of handball and how the game of handball works. This is a sport that is actually a combination of soccer, basketball, and hockey. It's got rules similar to all three of those and this is a super fun sport to watch. It's definitely a unique sport and not a sport a lot of people think of but it is an Olympic sport. It's something you can play just for fun or you can play at a really high competitive level. So today I'm going to go through all the different rules of the sport and how the sport works. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration videos just like this, definitely subscribe button turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload as opposed to a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time and I'm super excited to dive into all these different rules. So the game of handball is played seven on seven that's six field players and a goalie against six field players and a goalie with two teams of 14 competing against each other. It is played on a court that is 40 meters by 20 meters with two arcs on the court. You have one solid colored arc that is six meters in diameter and then you have another arc that is nine meters in diameter and that six meter arc is your goal crease and that nine meter line is your free throw line now the goal of the game is to score more points than your opponent and the way this is done is by scoring and throwing that ball into the net. The net is 2 meters wide by 3 meters high and the ball must completely cross the goal line to count. And another thing is you as an offensive player cannot step into the goal crease when shooting the ball. You can actually not be in there at all. That is a place just for the goalie. Even the defenders cannot be in there. It is specifically for the goalie. Now the game starts off with a coin toss and the winner of the coin toss gains possession. When a team has possession, there are a few rules around that. Each individual player cannot hold the ball for longer than three seconds or take three steps with the ball. They have a maximum of three steps. A few ways around this is you pass the ball to your teammates to get up the court. You can pass the ball to your teammates. You can also dribble the ball like in basketball. So you can dribble the ball to get up the court faster and that allows you to take a few more steps. Another thing about dribbling though, you cannot double dribble as it would be called in basketball. In handball, it's called a dribble fault and that is when you dribble the ball, then pick it up and then dribble it again. That is not allowed and that gives the ball to the other team. If you do hold the ball for longer than three seconds or take more than three steps, it also gives the ball to the other team. One other way you may lose the ball is by playing passive play. So the goal is to score the ball into the net. So if your team is showing no intention of scoring, they're just kind of passing the ball around this can be called passive play and it automatically gives the ball to the other team. Now your defense is trying to stop the other team from scoring and when you're playing defense the, you can do this in a few different ways. You can try to block the ball, block a pass. You can also try to team up with your teammates and make a wall so they can't get the pass through or front on front you can make body contact to try to have them drop the ball. However you're not allowed to just take the ball out of the other team's hand. You can't just go up and rip the ball out of their hand and you can also not make excessive contact like pushing or jumping into the other team. This will give the other team a free throw. The game is played in two 30 minute halves totaling 60 minutes of play and the highest score at the end of that time does win. If the score is tied at the end of that play you can play up to two more five minute periods and if the score continues to be tied it does go into a penalty shootout similar to one you'd see in soccer. Now you may see somebody get a seven meter throw. This is a line on the court and this is similar to a penalty kick in soccer. This happens when the defender steps into the goal crease to try to block a shot or if somebody on the offense has the ability to score and a defender checks into them or pushes them out of the way this can reward the offensive team a seven meter shot and this is a one-on-one -on -one shot with the goalie they get one shot to try to score in the net and if they are able to score they do get a point one other thing about the goal crease is if you as an offensive player step into the goal crease while you're shooting the ball and score that goal does not count substitution in this game have a limited subs and they are made on the fly and they just have to make sure they cross the substitution line before they come in four fouls in this they're known as progressive punishment and it starts off with a yellow card after that yellow card for your second and third offense you are awarded a two minutes off the court this is similar to like a penalty in soccer so your team has to play down a man for two minutes and if you do get a fourth foul then that does become a red card and you are ejected from the game and your team has to play down a man for the rest of the game and you can get an immediate red card if you 
commit an excessive foul. So if you find this video helpful, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about handball. If there's anything else you want to learn about handball, definitely let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, definitely check out the playlist linked at the end that has rules for a bunch of different sports. I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Oh,